Welcome to the round three uh, OK Junior press conference uh, here from the Amphink circuit in Germany. This is the FIA Karting European Championship. Uh, in the middle of your picture, our race winner, Paul Aron, to the left of picture, second, uh, Luca Griggs, and representing uh, Gabriel Bortoletto, who was third, uh, Marco from the CRG uh, factory team. Uh, Paul, we'll start with yourself. Congratulations on, on, on your second win of the season. Does it feel better than the first? Uh, yep, thank you. And... Um yeah, I think the first one felt a bit better because it was more of a surprise and it was the first round. So I wasn't used to this, but now I'm uh, kind of confident. I've had the speed in all the tracks. I just had a bit of unlucky in PFI in the qualifying and that ruined my weekend. But uh, the speed was still good. And now here again, I was really quick. Uh, and then we had a bit of problems in the first, first three heats. But after that, we managed to fix the problem and, uh, and it was all good. How were you able to turn things around uh, after PF? Is it you just had to put it to one side that, that round and then take this as, as a kind of new challenge? Um, yeah, I, after PF, I really wanted to drive again because I wanted to redeem myself. I don't know, it's just something with me that if I do bad, I just want to drive again straight away to fix it. So I was uh, really hoping forward to this weekend and I did quite good in the German Championship as well. So I had a bit of confidence. It's, uh, of course, been a, a tough weekend. Was, was that final very physically enduring? Uh, how, how were you uh, keeping concentrated mentally as well? Yeah, the final felt really wrong. After after seven laps, I looked how many laps are left. And there, there were so many laps left. I was, uh, I, in the end, I didn't feel quite tired, but I think mentally I was uh, already quite tired and my hands and legs didn't want to do exactly what I wanted them to do. But I think, yeah, the the main key to the victory was uh, just to stay co uh, confident and uh, stay calm, not make any mistakes and just try to build as big as I, can, I, I could. Was there any points in the race, rather than pushing 100%, where you were just trying to manage the gap? Is is that something that, that happens? Yeah, at the start, definitely the first six lap, I was pushing very hard, but I still wanted to manage my speed because I didn't want to push too hard and then make a mistake. And uh, my mechanic always showed me what I need to do. So some laps when uh, they caught me, I had to push again. So it was quite hard, but I managed to stay calm. And that was the biggest problem all weekend I had was I saw that sometimes the others were a bit faster. I got uh, a bit nervous and, uh, and then they caught me. So I just tried to stay calm and uh, keep the speed. Thank you very much, Paul. We'll come back to yourself uh, at the end. Uh, Luca, uh, great podium. This is your best result of the season. Uh, what's the feelings? Uh, f obviously, the feeling's great to come on the podium in the European Championship. I think it was, it was really good like how the positions we were in in the race. I think we were a bit lucky with that, but I think also a couple of things I managed to do well, which put me in second place. Kind of talk us a little bit through the story of your race. Uh, was the aim always second place uh, after Paul had that established that uh, lead? Um, obviously, because I could see points where I was catching him and points where he would pull away. So I thought still I could catch him, so I kept pushing. But then last two laps, when you have a two or three second gap, this always comes a point where you have to stop pushing and sort of manage the gap a bit more. And you picked up an injury, didn't you, earlier this year? Tell us, tell us how you recovered from that, and how good it must feel now to to get this result. Uh, so, in the, it was in the test at La Conca, I broke my hand. So then I just waited on it, waited on it, and then when I came back, I wasn't quite as strong at, at first. But then once I got used to it, got back into the feeling of driving, it was okay. Do you think if you can reflect this result or maybe even go one better at SA that this could be the kind of dress rehearsal to a championship uh, contention next year? Yeah, I think if because I think I have to go senior next year, so I think it will be just as long as I get a good race next race and sort of get a feeling of all the tracks and everything, then get used to fighting at the front and fighting at the back. And I think I can do well next year. Thank you very much and congratulations again. We'll pass to Marco, please. Uh, unfortunately, Gabriel Portoletto having to catch Thanks. a flight. Uh, thank you for joining us. What's the feeling, it's a within, what's the feeling within the team uh, after the race? Uh, it's, we are quite satisfied for the result because we are in a position now to, for fighting for the championship. So all the, all the teams is happy about the results. We spend a lot of time during the week to try to find the perfect configuration for the chassis and 
to find the perfect feeling for the driver also to give him the possibility to drive in the best way and have the good result for the race. Just try and give the viewers an idea of how much work goes in to prepare for a championship like this. Uh, it's, it's, it's quite complicated in the sense that uh, you need to try to work a lot with the driver experience, with the driving feelings and also with a good feeling with the, me with the mechanic that have a lot of experience to try to see on the track what happened and try to discuss with the driver and with the technician how to move every setup, everything on the chassis to find the perfect uh, solution to give to the driver the perfect solution to drive in the best way. This is what we want to do and what we try to do all the time when we are in every track for every championship. And the tyres, of course, have been a big thing this weekend. Uh, w was it worse than the teams, do you think, expected? Or, or was it, it roughly what people were prepared uh, for? Mm, yes and no, in the sense that we try to understand what happened because having different driver that drive in a different way, we can try to analyze uh, different um, condition of uh, using the, the tire and try to understand with each driver which would be the, the, the right way to use the, the mm, tire in a better way, not to destroy them from the beginning of, uh, of the race, but try to use them step by step, having a good condition of the tire till the end of the race. And we haven't had a chance to speak to Gabriel. Uh, just tell us how he was feeling after the race. For sure, yeah. I think he's quite happy and his feeling was quite good. He, he told me um, quite fast, but he told me that he was happy and he would like to make much better for sure. It's, it's what every driver wants to do. And he told me that uh, the feeling with the chassis, with the engine, everything is good. And we are really happy because it means that we grow up during the week and we give him what we want to give him. So the best solution for the race. Thank you very much. And Thanks congratulations to you. on Thanks to all of the team. Uh, we'll just go back to Paul for one final yes. question, if we can. Uh, Paul, of course, now you go into the final round with a good championship lead. Uh, does that change anything now? Or you must be feeling very confident and, uh, and very relaxed. Yeah, so I'm definitely really happy with the lead because now I don't need to feel that stressed for the last round. I'm still definitely going to give my best and push as hard as I can. And uh, and try to win the the next round also, but you never know what happens, and I'll just try to give my best and see what happens. And I, I hate to ask this early, but uh, what would it mean to yourself to if you could clinch this title? Oh. Well, obviously, I, I at the start of the season I said that I I won't be happy <coughs> to go on to seniors if I haven't been a, a W skate champion, a European champion, or a world champion. So now I've got a big chance, and I'm definitely gonna do everything to win it but as i said you never know what happens and i'm just gonna give my best congratulations well done to everyone and uh, we'll see you at essay thank you, thank you.